Hey guys, today I'm going to unbox and review Huion's largest graphics tablet, the Giano. I know a lot of people on my channel are like me and are always looking for a good deal. And the Giano retails at 159 US dollars, which is a significant reduction of price from the industry standard of a whack of tablet. This not only like, you know, perks my ears, but it kind of raises a few suspicions. I currently own this mostly piece of poop. <laughs> it's a Wacom tablet Intuos 3 6x8 tablet. Um, it retailed in 2008 when I bought it for $339, which was quite a bit of a splurge. Um, I've owned this for over seven years and I love it so dearly. <laughs> I'm also a hoarder, so I still own this box, which is beautiful. This puppy gets shipped in so many boxes, it should have been marketed as like a nesting doll. Not only did it come in a shipping box, but inside the box was this Huion cardboard box, and then inside that was this beautiful box. Once you remove this evil clear sticker that like keeping your tablet safe from the world, you're rewarded with this easy pull open top. Um, <laughs> this box even has this little foam insulation on the underside of the lid, which really surprised me and I thought was an awesome touch. Inside the box, the tablet is clearly visible along with this cute little thank you note from Huan expressing their gratitude for your patronage. And don't forget this little cutie patootie. To the left inside this hidden flap, uh, there's a USB cable to charge the pen. There's also a USB cable to charge the tablet, since the tablet is wireless. Its battery is said to last up to 40 hours, or if you're not into charging it, you can keep it plugged in all the time, and that uh, the charging cable just acts as a cable, you know, to keep it charged. It can also, according to the packaging, work up to almost 40 feet away. <laughs> but I can't imagine my eyes would work from that distance. But, uh, anyway, I mean, it's a nice touch. Also inside there is the rechargeable pen P80, which honestly was the biggest letdown of this whole thing. Like, I'll go into detail, but it has these two buttons that can be programmed to do whatever you want. Like, you can set it to right or left click or even have it do control Z. This is the same as a Wacom pen. However, <laughs> this is the one thing that really irks me and it might just be a deal breaker for some people. There is no eraser tip. My Wacom pen has this little button on the back that you can um, preset to be the eraser tool in Photoshop. It's super easy, like you just flip over the pen and then it becomes the eraser and then you flip it back over and it's the pen and it like, it doesn't slow down your artistic process at all, you just keep on grooving. It's kind of, it's, it's so similar to traditional art that you're not even thinking, you just do it and it's one of my favorite parts of my Wacom tablet. The Huon pen also comes with this like gimmicky top that serves no purpose and it kept like getting away from me. It was honestly a nuisance and I'm 100% sure I will lose this thing. Also in the box is the stand for the pen. It comes with a storage in the bottom for your extra nibs, um, which are all the same. And I've also only changed my Wacom's pen nib once in the last seven years. So again, four nibs seems fine and dandy. And uh, then you just screw the bottom of the pen holder to the top of the pen holder. And you've got this little thingamajig that holds your pen and stops it from rolling away on your desk. This pen holder also differs from my Wacom one because um, the Huion stand has these like notches in the top that allow the pen to lie horizontal. Um, my Wacom one does as well, but it also has a little hole in the center that allows my pen to sit on the desk like it's sort of sitting in a bottle of ink and it's so cute. Um, this is how I use it and I find it much more convenient than the horizontal position and it also takes up a lot less space when it's sitting vertically. Um, this isn't really a deal breaker so it's half the time my pen is just sitting on my desk next to my tablet, but it did bother me so I thought I would mention it to you if you're trying to make a decision, you know? <laughs> now the tablet, this thing is a freaking beast. It has a workable area measuring 13.8 by 8.6 inches, which it says is the largest tablet on the market in the world. I didn't do any research into that, but it's pretty huge and I've never seen one this size before. It dwarfs my old tablet six inches by eight inches. And the sleek black design looks great on my desk next to my black monitors and my black keyboard and my black mouse. And the top left of the tablet has this on off switch. The Huon tablet has 248 levels of printer sensitivity for you nerds, <laughs> which is it basically um, is how responsive the tablet will be to the pressure you're applying with the pen. Um, 248 levels of pressure sensitivity is actually double what my Wacom Intuos one has um, that I bought in 2008, which only has 1,024 levels of pressure sensitivity. My Wacom tablet and the new Huon are the same when it comes to resolution, with they both measure 580 dpi, which is you know, per inch, and that is how accurate the pen placement is. So even though my 
pen my tablet was smaller and this one's bigger and they both have 580 that's not 580 spread across the uh 13 inches it's actually 580 per inch so it's still the same as my wacom tablet below the logo are these four indicator lights with these giant weird colored lines next to them and i couldn't find that they served any purpose uh, but the little icons to the left of each line do blink or light up to indicate whether the pen is active, the wireless network's working, the battery is charging, or if the battery needs to be charged. Below the indicator lights are a whopping 12 heart keys that can be programmed to any key or combination of keys your little heart desires. They also come pre-programmed when you install it um, with stuff like Control z if you're too lazy to program them yourself, which was pretty handy. When you flip over the tablet, you'll find that there's this little knob on the back in the top right, um, and when you open that up, you'll reveal the USB wireless adapter. So you'll need to plug this in to get your tablet to work, because it is what signals the tablet, and so that it works with your computer. It also took me way too long to find this. <laughs> I was looking for the wireless adapter in the box for like ever before I realized that it was attached on the bottom, and I felt like an idiot. But let's not talk about that. Inside the box, underneath the tablet, I found the user manual for both Windows and Mac computers, as well as a cleaning cloth, which really, really excites me. <laughs> I really wanted a cleaning cloth because my tablet is a freaking mess, so this is something I'll definitely be putting into use. I actually ended up having way more trouble with than was necessary trying to get this tablet to work. Um, the problem I eventually realized was that the driver of my Wacom was actually interfering with its functionality. Once I successfully removed every tablet driver that was on my computer, like, five times, because I kept retrying and it was really stupid. <laughs> but once I removed all of the drivers that were on my computer, restarted my computer, installed the new one for my Huon, I didn't really have any problems. But the strange thing was, even though I, I still had both of the tablets installed, it worked just fine in the GIMP. Like, it immediately recognized it and worked perfectly. But not in Photoshop. I don't know why Photoshop is such a drama queen. I mean, it costs tons of money, and then only works when its demands are met. I mean, sheesh, what is the problem? Photoshop, get your act together. But I was really, really excited to see that it worked with the GIMP, because one of the reasons I agreed to review this tablet was in the hopes that it would work with this program, because Wacom currently isn't supported in the GIMP, even though it used to work, so I don't know what's up with that. I really want to do GIMP tutorials on my channel, since I'm a cheapskate, and I want other people to be cheapskates, <laughs> save their money for other important things. So if there's a way to save money, then I want to let them know. So I really wanted to do GIMP tutorials, and my tablet wasn't working. So I am so very, very excited to be able to do GIMP tutorials now um, with this tablet. And uh, let me know if there's something in the GIMP that you've wanted to know how to use, or if there's something you want to know how to do, but you don't know how to do it in the GIMP, let me know. I'll try and figure that out. And uh, I'm hoping to do some tutorials in the future. So just let me know in a comment and we'll see what I can do. So after I was done fighting <laughs> with this tablet to get it to work and, you know, in uninstalling and reinstalling drivers over and over and over again, it took me a while to get the, the pressure sensitivity options to where I wanted them. And even when I thought they were where I wanted, they weren't quite the way it didn't feel the same as my Wacom tablet. And I know each tablet's different because I've used several tablets in the past, like for school and things, and they always feel different and always feels like a completely different experience. So that's not something like you will get used to it if you buy this tablet and you use it because something I've always told people is when they buy a tablet for the first time, don't expect it to be perfect because you are not going to like it. It is going to be completely different than drawing on paper. And if you're expecting it to be the same, you're wrong. Okay. <laughs> so you just have to give it time and practice with it. Just like you weren't able to draw or write the first time you picked up a pencil when you were three years old. Okay. So it just takes a little bit of time. I don't think it takes much longer than a couple months if you really go solid on it. You could you could probably get used to it in a week or two if it was something you really wanted to. But when I first got my first tablet, I hated it and I basically put it under my bed and didn't use it for six months. And those were six months I could have practiced and got better. So I regret that, but don't do the same thing as me. Here's some sketches that I did with the tablet. Again, it felt off just when I was drawing them. Like something was different, either the pressure sensitivity and also just the size difference. The fact that I had to move my hand back and forth so much just to get like to, if I wanted to draw on the top left of the screen, I had to like throw my hand across this 13.8 inch tablet. Um, so that was something I had to get used to. Um, but again, I think the only reason I didn't really like it was because it is a whole new tablet and you have to get used to it. And I do plan on getting used to it because I want to do those GIMP tutorials. So that's not something that bothered me. Again, the only real problem I had with this tablet was the pen. It is significantly lighter than um, the Wacom pen that I have. And that eraser, that eraser, uh, I need the eraser. You don't know how many times when I was drawing this that I went and like flipped the pen over 
and nothing happened. I was like, what's going on? And I had to like look down and I realized I was using the Huon tablet and not the Wacom tablet. And yeah, if you've never had a tablet with a pen, that might not even affect you at all. But because I am so used to a tablet with an eraser pen, um, that was really just something very difficult for me to get over. And uh, I mean, again, it's something you can learn yourself out of, but it's just the convenience of it. I think that is the one thing that I really didn't like about this tablet. And I want to be honest with you so that <laughs> you understand where I'm coming from. Which I have to say, for half the price of a Wacom tablet, the eraser is kind of like, you know, uh, it's probably all right to give up on if it's only a $150 tablet. But yeah. Anyway, let me know if that's something you'd like to purchase. I'll have a link to where you can buy it on Amazon in the description. And you can purchase that if you'd like. Um, thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah. Well, let me know what your thoughts are on this tablet. Thank you guys all for watching, and I hope you have a very delicious evening full of waffles. Bye.